Hi everyone, I'm Miss McKenzie. And I'm Miss Shannon. We're talking all about rising up this month and we have another awesome adventure for today. Do you know what encouragement means? It means saying or doing something that makes someone feel good and happy. Let's start with an activity that reminds us to be kind like that. Start by saying one kind statement about someone in your house by saying, one thing I like about you is. Now it's your turn, go ahead and try that. Sometimes it can be really hard to encourage someone and help them to feel better. It gets much easier though when we know how to encourage someone. We're going to talk about that today. We're going to start in our Bible story today in John 21 verses 1 to 17. Have you ever disobeyed your parents and you knew that you were not going to make them happy at all? How did that make you feel? When Jesus was captured and taken away, his friend Peter was afraid the same thing would happen to him. So when people asked him, he said he didn't know who Jesus was at all. Peter knew that what he did made Jesus sad. He was probably worried that Jesus would be angry with him. One day, the disciples were out fishing. They had been fishing for a long time, but they didn't catch anything. Then someone appeared and told them to cast the net on the other side of the boat. The net filled with a bunch of fish. They knew only one person was able to do something this amazing. It had to be Jesus. Peter was so excited to see Jesus, Peter jumped out of the boat and swam to shore. When Peter got to the shore, Jesus invited Peter to sit and eat with him. The other disciples followed after they brought the boat to shore, and Jesus simply asked Peter if he loved Jesus. Of course Peter did. Jesus gave Peter a mission to take care of Jesus' followers everywhere. It didn't matter what Peter had done, Jesus wanted Peter to know that he still loved him and wanted him to tell everyone about Jesus. Let's read Psalm 4, verse 1 and 2. Answer me when I call to you, O God, who declares me innocent. Free me from my troubles. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you people ruin my reputation? How long will you make groundless accusations? How long will you continue your lies? Can you imagine what would have happened to Peter if Jesus didn't show mercy? God is good and God shows us mercy. Jesus encouraged Peter and told Peter there was a plan for his life, even though Peter had done something really disappointing. Jesus used this moment as a time to encourage Peter with his words and with his actions. Who do you need to show mercy and encouragement to today? Can you think of ways to do that? Maybe you could draw them a picture or tell them they're doing a great job, even smile at them. Sometimes in life, things don't go the way that we think they're going to. Sometimes we get disappointed. In those moments, Jesus will encourage us or send others to encourage us. In what ways can Jesus bring encouragement into your life? Let's say our memory verse. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10 verse 9. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for encouraging us. You, sh you show us mercy and love even when we don't deserve it. Help us to show mercy and love to others. We want to be encouraging and loving like you. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. See you next time.